the home of five doctors. How come Tom Bacon declined from the other doctors? The five doctors? Yeah. I don't know anything about it because I wasn't on the show then. <laughs> so I'm afraid uh, I can't really answer that question. Sorry. Oh, um, well I think I've sort of answered that. That was Who's My Favourite Doctor from the new series. Whichever one I'm watching, and any minute now it's about to be Peter Capaldi, I'm sure. <laughs> any more questions? Gentleman in the uh, pink shirt. Why do you look better? Why do you look better now than you did 30 years ago? Because I'm still basking in your glow. Here you are. Oh, it's what? I was just wondering, um, why did you get into acting? What made yeah. you decide to get why? into it why? in the first place? Um, actually, I wanted to be Margot Fontaine. I wanted to be a, a prima ballerina because my mother was deaf. So I wanted to be able to express with the body, you know, a story and communicate. Um, and I went to ballet school and um, I wanted to go to ballet school and basically I, my father really didn't want me to because the education was not as good. So I auditioned for all the ballet schools because my father said just let her audition, she won't get in. And then I got into them all, including the Royal Academy, which was you know, really strict. And then he let me down gently, but he wasn't going to let me go. So basically my heart was broken. And I was a very depressed 11-year-old child. Really, like my world was over, I wasn't going to be a prima ballerina. And my mother, smart lady as she was, suggested that I started to do other forms of dance, which was a sacrilege to a classically trained back dancer. And she got me involved in musicals. She got me to try and join an amateur dramatic company. The only problem being, that you had to be 16 to join an amateur dramatic company. And I was 11, nearly 12 by the, the time my mother suggested this. So my mother said, well, if you're any good at acting, act 16. It was a challenge. So, uh, ooh, there we go. So I went for the audition. The uh, show was Fiddler on the Roof. Obviously, I wanted to play the youngest of the children. That would be giving me most chance. But dead up, that was played by somebody who was uh, 18. I played the second youngest. And in fact, it was practically illegal that I was going to the rehearsals and doing the shows. And only one person in the cast knew that I was only 12 years old. So. The thing about that was, that gave me the acting right. And from that point on, I thought, if I can't be Margot Fontaine, I'll be Judy Dench. <laughs> so that was it. Last question. Last question. What was it like to uh, act with Brian Atkinson? Ah, Brian Atkinson. Um, funnily enough, he's not Mr. Comedy. He's not particularly chatty, he's quite shy. So he sat in the corner of the rehearsal room most of the time. And uh, his partner, Teddy Robinson, you know, Baldrick, he's the chatty comedy one. So he was the one who ran around, you know, getting everybody to join in. And, uh, but I think the most important character there was Ben Elton. He was, he really ran the ship. He was the person who came up to me and said, I want this character to have an incredible laugh. And he actually sent me into the gents to rehearse. It's a long story, but there were only gents toilets on that floor. It's complicated. But he said, I want you to go off and become a staccato machine gun. And that's where that horrendous laugh that Millicent had. So he was a, he was a great guy. But Rowan's very quiet and quite shy.
I think that's uh, that's the end, folks.